Hello, and welcome back as we explore Egyptian hieroglyphs and teach you how to read ancient Egyptian. We are finally on the last four letters. The two T's and the two D's. Again, if you like these videos and want to help out the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Your subscription matters. So, the first letter we're going to do today is the T, or the loaf of bread. To draw this letter, just draw a semicircle with the flat edge bottom down. And this is considered to be a very, very small character, so you don't want to draw this one big. It's, this is a tiny, tiny character. And it is transliterated as the letter T and is pronounced like the English T as in T as in Tom. The second T is actually called the Chima and is portrayed as a tether. Now, to draw this letter, you draw a flat line and curve it back on itself. Then draw a loop at each end. Now, the transliteration for this is the letter T with a straight line underneath it. But it's pronounced as a hard CH, as in church. CH, as in church. It's actually TCH, but it's for for English speakers the ch 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 is much more familiar with the ch than the t so when you see this t with the flat line the chima it is pronounced ch the next letter is our first d so we've covered the two t's now we're on to the d's these are the last two letters in the egyptian alphabet And the first D is the hand character. Now, to draw this letter, draw a hand with a thumb, including a bit of the wrist. Now, it's a wide character, so it's not the thin like the arm character hand, the hand on the arm character. It's a thick hand. But avoid drawing each finger. Draw it as kind of like you would be drawing a mitten. So it's more of a mitten hand than a finger articulated hand. Now you will see in Egyptian hieroglyphs where they do articulate all the fingers. But a lot of times they don't articulate the fingers. So keep that in mind as you draw this and as you read this. The transliteration for this letter is the letter D. And it's pronounced as a dental D as in dog. D as in dog. Finally, now we're down to the last letter and the last D, we've got the Janja, which is drawn as a cobra. Now, I've got an affinity for snakes. What can I say? I think the snake hieroglyphs are super cool. To draw this letter, you draw the head with a short neck and then draw a long horizontal body and then a long vertical trail downward. There should be a lot of white space underneath the area of the body. Now the transliteration for this is the letter D with a straight line underneath it. The janja is pronounced with a J sound as in edge or wedge. It's that j sound, dj, but it's j. So the janja is the final letter of the Egyptian alphabet. Now we have covered all 27 letters of the Egyptian alphabet. Congratulations, you made it through. Woohoo! Now, these are the building blocks upon which the rest of the hieroglyphic system is built. This is the foundation. You can then take those letters, and those letters will be seen in the multiliterals. When we look at multiliteral characters, we're going to see each one of those multi characters is made up of two or more of these characters you just learned. 
And as we go into more advanced lessons, we'll be talking about multiliterals and determinatives and giving you more complex grammar and vocabulary. But today, revel in the fact that you have just completed the basics of the Egyptian alphabet. Next time we'll do a review session and then move on to greater and better things. Thank you for watching. Again, if you enjoy this channel, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time.